and welcome to our first episode of the Minnesota Twins franchise series. You guys voted on this in the YouTube section. It was about 55% Twins and a little bit else for everything else. So we decided to go with the Minnesota Twins. If you guys want to see this content, we'll see how it does, see if it does well. I will be trying rebuilds and stuff like that. But let's start it off with the traditional franchise. I think the Twins are a wonderful team. They look great. They have prospects to look forward to, great storylines, and I think you'll enjoy it. So the first thing today, episode one, we're not going to play any games, we're probably not going to make any moves, we're just going to look at the team, we're going to look where we are, and we're going to look into the future. So I am a GM and manager, I've already set all the settings I want, there's nothing, I didn't change anything crazy. I set inflation rates to about what it should be, I think it's 3 or 4%. I looked it up, I didn't know that, so you know, I'm not that smart. So let's head to the team home screen and look at our top prospects first. I always like to do this. So we have our big two in Royce Lewis and Alex Kirilov who I don't want to trade either of these guys. I think these guys will have to come up and play for us, which does mean Jorge Polanco is in a weird spot. Max Kepler might be in a weird spot, which is kind of unfortunate, but we'll see how it goes. Ruzdar Grutterol, I don't know who that is. Sorry, he's a starting pitcher, looks okay. Wander Javier, I don't really know any of these guys besides Juan Duran, because I always look up Jaron Duran, and Juan Duran comes up, and he looks pretty solid as well. So those are our top 10 prospects, or I believe 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 8, same thing, whatever. Let's look at our actual roster, and we'll go, we'll start with the pitching. So of course we have the ace of our staff, Jose Barrios, who's a sol very solid pitcher, 2.5 stars with a 3.5 star potential, which is wonderful for us to have. Michael Pineda, eh, eh, he's just not good. Uh, to put it bluntly, he's not good. Hasn't played in what looks like two years, played in the International League, or... I believe it's in the National League, yeah. The other AAA league, besides Pacific Coast. And then Odorizzi is having a great year. Uh, two and a half stars, two and a half star potential. We're looking maybe to have him for a year or two. Let's look at his contract. I don't really know. Only one year, no arbitration. We might negotiate an extension. We'll have to see how the season goes on. If he has a good start, we'll definitely negotiate an extension with him. Kyle Gibson and Martin Perez are both probably not going to be on this team for very long. Trevor May probably won't be on the team a lot either. Taylor Rogers probably not that long. Tyler Duffy, eh. Ryan Harper, eh. None of these guys really look great for me. I do want to contend. Lewis Thorpe, of course, and Cole Stewart will keep because we might want to move those guys to uh, at least Cole Stewart. We're going to move to a starting pitcher in the future, maybe this year. Now let's look at the lineups. So with Byron Buxton, we're definitely going to keep Polanco. I do want to keep if I can. I think he'll have a great season this year. And of course, he's having a wonderful season in real life. Started the All-Star game. Probably shouldn't have, but he still did. And maybe we'll move him over. He can't really play out of the positions. Maybe second base eventually. Uh, Eddie Rosario is a wonderful player. I might move him though. He might be that guy that might be the odd man now. Nothing Cruz he might just play until he retires. He's 38. He's going to hit a lot of home runs. We know that. It's nuts how many home runs this guy hits. Slugging over 500 so often. Then we have CJ Crone, who's kind of a temporary for his base hall. He's feeling that well for now, but that's about it. Max Kepler, I definitely want to try to build around him. Wonderful, wonderful player. Looks to break out this year, and he has in real life. Of course, Miguel Sano. He's 25, but I, I don't really see it. He's got a lot of power, and that's basically about it. And if you're wondering, I am using 1 to 100, not 20 to 80. I just prefer. It's just easier. It really doesn't make that much of a difference. Scopes, another temporary guy who's playing well, but I don't really know how well he's going to fill on the team. And Williams Astudillo is a monster, the greatest player of all time, so we'll probably have to keep him. Uh, Jason Castro, Mitch Garver, I do want to be the two catchers, so I might move Astudillo to second or third, looks like, but I might move him to second as Castro and Garver are very, very good catchers. And then we have Luis Arez, who's not good, he's young. Uh, here, I. I'll just say Adrian Zach because I can't pronounce his name. Is it okay? Marlon Gonzalez, I really don't want this team. He's getting paid 12 million to send the bench for us, so I really don't want him. He's kind of this guy who just there's no place to put him. And Jake Cave. Jake Cave actually looks pretty good in this game, but I also probably want to move him. So if we look at the, the graphical depth chart, this is what we got going. Cave, Castro, Gonzalez. I might I might move it a little bit like that. I think that makes more sense. And we'll move Marlin to basically every backup position. They'll just play when someone gets tired. If you go into options, that's everything. And uh, yeah, there's not much else. Uh, 
I can show you our whole roster, but it'll get a little confusing. So if we go to AAA and we go sword by potential, Fernando Romero is probably our best player right now in AAA. AJ Reed, I believe Addison. Oh, that's Addison Reed in AAA. Okay, we'll bring him up for now. Oh, active roster is full. Well, no, no, no crap, man. Okay, and um, we will go by any rule changes that happen. I've seen a lot. If I don't know if I'm going to disable expansion teams or not, you can tell me in the comments if you want to see that. I might, I might not. Really see if it makes sense for us because I get expansion teams all the time. It just gets annoying to take our players, but I don't want to like have roster decreases to 38 games, stuff like that. It just kind of gets annoying. And then we also have Alex Kirillov, Kir I can't pronounce his name, in Double A, who looks to be an absolute monster. We are going to make a lot of trades because this is going to be a fun franchise. We'll see what a team looks like in 10 years. If you've never played out of the park baseball, we do have actual draft classes, pretty in depth. We have all of minor league players. It's the most in depth simulation game on the market. And I truly recommend it to anyone who loves baseball. This guy, Kioni Kavaka, looks like a monster right now. But a lot of defense with my voice is dying. And this right fielder, Matt Walner, looks okay, but he's already 21, so maybe not. We, I don't believe we have anyone with his DFA. We actually do. Uh, he's a 19 year old. Okay, I'll send you to A ball. There we go. And if you guys have anything you want to tell me, uh, anything I am missing about the game, please leave in the comments below because I am kind of new to this game. I played it last year a little bit, but not that much. If you want to look at the front office and the finances, this is everything we've got. Uh, player payroll, staff payroll, it gets complicated. I set firing and hiring to the AI because I just can't be bothered to do that. It takes so long and it's kind of pointless if you ever look at it. I just don't like it. Um, but besides that, upcoming free agents, we have a few, but we'll, we'll look at those as the time comes. Scouting. We might hire a new manager eventually, but Rocco Baldelli looks... Actually, no. I am an idiot. I'm the manager. <laughs> uh, but our assistant GM is Thad Levine, who I think was the former GM, and then our bench coach Derek Shelton, pitching coach Wes Johnson. So uh, we, we don't really have any good managerial experience here, but eventually we hope to uh, turn those guys into great. So here's our player development area, basically. Royce Lewis, of course, the former number one overall pick. And Alex Kirillov, Kir I don't know. And then we have some great rotation that's going to come up. And uh, I believe this team is pretty solid. So that's all I got for you today. This is just an opening introduction. If you have any guys you want me to trade for, any guys you want to see in the team, please leave them in the comments down below. Like the video and uh, see you tomorrow. Peace.